Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back, all you happy mappers. Bauer Brown here. <laughs> all righty. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Let's see what I have for you guys today. Actually, what I have for you guys today, we're going to be doing a... We're going to be playing around with our file structures a little bit, okay? Uh, and basically, that's that's how we organize our mod map itself. Now, I'm sure if any of you guys, I'm sure this has happened for you guys, if you've been following along with these uh, tutorial series and stuff, uh, you've probably gotten to the point where maybe we're doing placeables or something like that. And I started typing something into the screen, like, you know, go to just place, you know, I start out maybe my file path as placeables and that didn't work for you. And you're like, wait, that's not where my placeables is at. And you know, your file structure is completely different than mine. And, and what's going on here? And why is it different? Why? Why? <laughs> the, trust me, I've run into this issue myself in the past. You know, when I was first learning, well, I mean, I'm still learning. We're all still learning. Always, always learning. Uh, but anyhow, when I was just getting into this, I want to say I'd, I'd pick apart other maps, right? And that was the easiest way to learn is to see how other people did things. All right. How did this guy do this? And how did this guy do this? You know, whether it's a base game map or a mod map that I found somewhere, you know, that was the easiest way for me to learn. Or basically one of the only resources I had was to pull these things apart. So for the most part, everybody would stick with a pretty standard you know, a pretty standard file structure or a directory structure. Uh, and that's kind of like what you see here, right? So you have mod map us, or actually you're in my, uh, mod map us, and then you go into maps, map us. And that's from sure is probably what all of yours looks like. All right. Well, every now and then I would come across something different and it would totally screw me up. And, and the reason thing, the reason being as I would think like placeables needed to be in a certain area. Okay. Well, this has to be inside this folder and this has to be inside that folder and it doesn't, but I didn't know that. So it totally screwed me up and <laughs> took a little while. And I finally figured out that I can move things around the way that I like them and things that work easier for me. Maybe it's organizational purposes. You know, maybe I just like to be a little bit more organized or do things a little bit differently. Uh, sometimes you'll see guys that have a folder that just says like XML and they'll have all their XML files in there and it's just organization. All right. Well, one of the main things for me is now I know we haven't done a video on this yet and I'm depending on how many of these guys, you know, how far you have progressed through this whole map making journey. Uh, there's a thing called test runner. Okay. And this is a tool put out by giants. And what it is, is when you're, you know, finished with your map or even partway through, I guess, if you just want to keep a running tab of what's going on, uh, you run your map through this, this testing tool and it, and it gives you a whole, a whole list of things that are wrong with your map. And trust me, it will find things and lots of things that you never even thought existed. It's going to find them. <laughs> All right. Well, one of the things in that testing tool that it does is it, it basically, for a lack of a better word, is it penalizes you uh, for anything that you have more than five directories deep. Okay, so uh, if you look at maybe our map, so it, it might be counting from here. So you have your data, and then if I had another folder inside of here, another folder inside of there. Well, once you get over five directories, now it, it basically penalizes you on Test Runner. All right, so if you have any intentions of getting this map out to my giants mod hub or anything like that it's not going to fly okay you need you need to fix that so the one thing that i don't like okay so they they do that and i can understand why you know you don't want to have you know infinite folders that you know when, when your game when it comes runtime you know when you're in game that this thing's having to look through 36 different directories just to find you know a shader or to find a texture or to find whatever um so you don't want to do that it's going to slow things down ultimately so they'd like to keep things to a minimum all right so that being said uh what they kind of set you up for, for failure right off the bat all right. And, and what I mean by that is, is right here, I'm in my, my FS22 mods. All right. So here's my mod map US. When I go into this folder, okay, so we have maps. Okay. That's not bad because here's our mod disk or icon maps. Okay. Map US. So we have a whole folder here. I mean, why is this folder here? So you open this up and here's everything that belongs in there, but this is serving no purpose. You have an entire folder here to just hold another folder why there's nothing else in here but that one folder all right and the reason for this and i'll show you the reason for this all right 
if you and see if you ever if you've ever noticed this now how did i lose a folder already my lord not off to a good start okay let's get this set up on the other side all right and i'll show you the reason here in a minute that's my backup okay so here's the giant side right i'm on the giants and i did have this up in the beginning of the video didn't i of course i did all right but anyhow here's the giant side the base game so if you go to data all right here's let's go back one here okay here's my maps folder here's their maps folder okay well you'll notice that they have several maps inside of their map alpine the french map the u.s map so on and so forth a bunch of file or a bunch of files that you know all of them share but we don't have that so when i go into maps all i have is map us because obviously that's the one that i picked you know when i created this mod map but i don't really have the option to put other maps inside of here i mean possibly i never really had the desire to even try to tell you the truth all right so the reason for this is okay if you go into their mod map us if you look through these files you'll notice that there's one file in particular that's missing okay and i'll give you a second to see if you can figure that out all right well if, if you guessed the mod desk you got it right okay there is no mod disk in here and can you figure out why there is no mod desk in here every map needs one don't they they do if it's a mod map okay this is the base game not a mod map this is just strictly base game so they have the luxury of <clears throat> structuring their their files and their directories a little bit differently than we do all right because this is a mod map right so when we go into ours one of the first things that we need is that mod disk telling it hey look here look here look here you know all these different areas for all these different things that we need they don't have to do that all right but when you created new mod from game it basically patterned uh this new folder your new mod folder after you know the base game side but we don't need that it doesn't make sense to us right so we you know with this whole maps and this mod map or this map us we're being penalized right off the bat all right so i find that you know, moving things around a little bit and, and restructuring uh, my directories, just it, it, it makes more sense. You're a little bit more organized. You can get things to work the way you want them to. Uh, and when you do things like, uh, like, for example, let's get back here. Let's look in the mod desk here. All right. So when you're trying to point to different files, you don't have to go to maps, map US and all that different stuff, right? Especially if it's like a placeable, I just type down placeables and that's it. Placeables and then whatever my placeable is. You know, you guys probably have to go to maps, backslash, whatever. All right, so now that I'm done babbling about all that, what are we gonna do about it? <laughs> all right, well, let me tell you, we're gonna reorganize this, right? So it works a little bit better. And then, you know, once you get in the habit of doing this and you wanna do this, by the way, uh, right when you start a map this is one of the first things that you want to do so if you have a project that's already going just stick with the structure that you already have because you're going to have an awful lot of things that you're going to need to change so don't even mess with it just get that into your head right now that only do this with a new map right this is what you want to do with a new map all right and then it, 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 you'll you'll learn to like it trust me it's like eating your broccoli <laughs> right or brussels sprouts or whatever you, you'll like it oh but anyhow all right so the way that we're gonna do this okay and this is easy really easy it's going to into maps and in this map us so everything inside of this folder uh we're basically you know what actually we don't even have to do it that way do we no we don't uh, so what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this map US. I'm just going to hit control X to cut. I'm going to go back one directory to my uh, mod map US. All right. And then I'm going to paste it. That maps folder, I'm going to delete. And then that map US, I'm going to rename. And I'm going to rename it to just map, singular map. It doesn't even need to be map. You can name it anything you want, really. Uh, it does not matter. All right, so now that you got that done, all right, and now it's a little bit easier. Now we start out when we go into our map folder, all right, we had the mod disk and we have map, okay, and everything's right there, really nice and easy. So we got rid of one extra directory, right? So when we, when later on, when we want to run this through test runner, we just saved ourselves one directory, okay, which is very important in the scheme of things. Trust me, it is. Um, sorry, so we got that, that part done. All right, we need to go back into our mod desk, first of all, right? So we need to go back into here because we need to tell it that 
you know, we've moved some things around, right? So we need to tell it where to find these new things. And from here, you know, you're going to go, like I said, in your mod desk and partway down, uh, well, you can see where they're, they're, they have all these file paths here for configure file name. It's right under the, uh, the maps tag there. All right. So we're going to start here with con config file name. And every place you see this address, you just want to go back and just change it. So it says map forward slash map.xml. All right. And this makes it a whole lot easier. See how we just saved ourselves one directory. You don't need that extra directory. Don't be like everybody else. We're like lemmings to the sea. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just kind of jumping off the edge of the cliff only because everybody else did. No, don't do that. Let, let those guys do their own thing and... Them rookies, you know, you don't, you don't want to be, you don't want to grow up to be a rookie, do you? Of course not. All right. So let's, let's do this the right way. Let's do it, you know, a way that makes a little bit more sense than, than the rest of the lemmings. Let them do their thing. All right. So we did the mod desk. We got that done. We got that out of the way. Uh, let's head back over to map. Okay. We're going to go in here. We're going to open up our map.xml. Okay, and then there's a couple more files in here that we need to take care of. So basically, you want to look anywhere that there's a file path, you want to make sure that you're changing this, right? So that goes to map backslash overview. Here's another file path. We're going to change this again to map back or forward slash map. All right, and then we can start going through this list. Now, most of these are, are uh, data. They're on the base game side, but not all of them. Some of them are actually on are locally hosted and if you miss one it's not the end of the world okay the worst that'll happen is when you start it up or you get in game it's going to throw some kind of error uh, and you'll find it instantly it, it will not be hard to find it'll tell you right off the bat that it can't find a certain file you just go in and you just fix the file path to it right nope not a big deal at least I don't think it's a big deal. Do you think it's a big deal? No, of course not. It's not a big deal. <laughs> All right. I've had it happen plenty of times. You know, most of the times I'm working on these things, it's really late at night and I don't really sleep well to begin with. I mean, I do. I mean, I'm a, I'm a night shift guy, so I work nights to begin with. So I'm up late at night, but I also have a little one. So, you know, when I get home, I, it's, you know, straight into daddy mode and yeah, I don't get much sleep. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so there's a lot of times where I'm way too tired. All right. So we got the map done. Enough of my life story. Um, back in my desk, everything looks pretty good. We have that all sorted out. What else do we got? What else? What else? Ooh, I'm off into other things. Um, let's go back into the folder there. I believe those, honestly, those are the only two files. Uh, placeable should be pretty well blank, which it is. Um, that's it. So those two files and you are good to go. Uh, now you'll just have to get used to your new file, your new folder structure, right? Your new directory structure, because now when I'm in like my, uh, my mod map folder here, now, normally when I do placeables, like if I create a placeables directory, I'll do it inside of this folder here, my basically like my root directory. Okay. Um, I won't, I don't normally put it inside a map. I mean, you could, uh, but the reason being is actually, no, I would put it in here probably because in your placeables itself, when you open this up, right, your file path, and that's kind of the way that works. I don't know if these guys are too familiar about the way these things work. All right. So my file path inside of placeables, when I'm typing that down, um, I'd want to put just placeables. I kind of think that needs to be in the root though. All right, because it's it, it reads it. It's a relative path. All right. And it reads it on the same level. So if what you're looking for, if what you're referring to, like a file path, um, say you tell it you want to find a placeables folder. If it was one directory back, it would be like a dot dot forward slash. And I can show you how that would be. So if they don't sit on the same directory, it would look like that. Yeah. Have you ever see that before? That means go back one directory. That's go back two directories. All right. But we don't want to do that. We just want ours to say, you know, placeables. All right. And now I can look at my other, let's look at them onto my other ones and see how it's set up really quick, just so we get a good idea of what's going on there. All right. So here's our tutorial series. And I do have my placeables right here at the very root. Okay. And I have one that's called objects and I've been working on some roads in there because Oh, I, I will not say one way or the other if I've been working on the Spline Street Constructor videos, but that may or may not be why that's in there. 
<laughs> All right. But anyhow, I got my placeables. Uh, so let's go into map and open up the placeables and see. Okay, well, map directory, that's why that's there. So if I didn't use this dollar sign, map directory dollar sign, all right, so a relative file address would look like this, a file path. I'd have a dot dot there. And that means go back one directory that this placeables.xml and this placeables folder, they don't sit on the same level. This dot dot is telling it that the placeables is one directory back. All right, they're not on the same level. You have to go back one. Okay, so that's the difference there. I thought that kind of kind of confused me for a second there, which isn't hard for me to confuse me. It's not too hard. All right, so that that's how they got around that that map dir uh, dollar sign map dir is basically telling it it's this directory, your root directory, your map directory. Okay, and that's where your placeables would go. So your placeables folder would go in here, right at the very base directory. And then, like I said, when you do your uh, when you do your file pass from there on, it, you know, from here on out, it would be dollar sign map dir placeables. You know, you don't have to go, you know, dollar sign map dir dollar sign map, you know, forward slash map us forward. You know, it, you, the heck with all that noise, man! It's just too many directories. All right, so we don't want to keep track of all that. We want to be lazy, and we <laughs> and so uh, I'm just just pulling your legs. So anyhow, it does make more sense in the scheme of things. It makes more sense to save that extra directory uh, because as your projects grow and grow, you know, especially if you got bigger maps, you're going to have a lot more placeables. Uh, like me, you're going to have you're going to have some prefabs that you need to track. Uh, then you're going to start getting in the roads and there's going to be a bunch of different stuff to track as far as that goes. And it's just as it gets bigger and bigger and they get more complex and you get into different things like, you know, hosting your own textures and your own foliages and stuff like that. Uh, trust me, you're, you're going to want to reorganize your file structure, your directory structure. So something that makes more sense to you. And as long as the files can find it, like, the you know, this uh, when I say the files can find it, I mean, like the mod desk. You know, you have this situated so it knows where to find the map.xml. It knows where to find the vehicles.xml. You're in good shape, right? That's all you need. Um, so that's it. You know, like I said, I just wanted to get that out there. So in case you guys have been following along with my videos and wondering, what the heck is this guy doing? Why does my folder structure not look like his? All right. So that that's why. And, and that's the reason that I do it. So hopefully that made a little bit of sense to you. And uh you know, you can utilize that for all your future map projects and start being organized and not just another lemming. <laughs> so, alrighty, with that being said, I am Barrett Brown and I will see you on the next one.